Listen up or run for cover. Dropping knowledge from the people who have it to the people who need it. The, the real Robin Bradley Bombs. is dropping. Brad Lee back again with another episode of Dropping Bombs. But today, folks, as I'm sure you're aware, I've got a real treat for you. I'm glad you're listening. Today, we brought in Dr. Derek De Silva. What's cracking, sir? All kinds of good stuff. Now, this will be a good <laughs> interview only because we are almost polar opposites of, of demeanor. Like he's the consummate professional, and I'm the consummate joker, right? Dude, it's funny because like you're like – full-blown doctor full-blown doctor used to be called a quack now you're called a freaking top expert in the field so i want to circle back eventually when this is all done talk about that because right now there's people getting called quacks right now maybe in five ten years those quacks will be known as experts and the people that caught things early anyway for the listeners folks dr derek da silva does a lot of things published author speaker uh, doctor of internal medicine. He's been doing it years and years and years, and he's been instrumental in the formulation of more than 350 supplemental products for all kinds of companies, I'd imagine. Yes. So you work like in a lab. <clears throat> well, I work with uh, a group of PhDs. We have labs that we develop products for, and um, but I still see patients. I enjoy seeing patients, and I enjoy doing what I do. So you also host segments on CNN, Nightline, things like that. You're like the expert they, they have in the tie to articulate the latest perspective. The stuff. All it, the stuff. Well, and they always want your perspective as the expert in whatever they're talking about. Correct. So what would you say you're the expert in? Definitely in the world of supplements and aging. You know, the, there's no question that the world of supplements has always been controversial. When I started doing this over 30 years ago, people would say to me, well probiotics i mean they don't do anything it's just a bunch of bacteria or coenzyme q10 well we know how critical those nutrients are today you know our, our gut is called our second brain and there's a reason for that because most of the neurotransmitters serotonin are made in the gut 70 percent of serotonin is made in the gut that's why they say trust your gut exactly very good exactly trust your gut is a saying that comes from there. the word fathead comes from the fact that your brain is 60% fat. So there's reasons for all of that. You know, uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, then mine's 90% fat. <laughs> <laughs> the, the apple a day keeps the doctor away is another one I really like is because apples contain pectin. And pectin is a very important nutrient for the heart. But it also contains iron. And we know how important iron is for red blood cells, et cetera. There's a lot of pectin at the, the gold gym yeah. over by the bench press. <laughs> different, pre different pectin. <laughs> yeah. So CoQ10, go back to that for a minute because you heard about that for a second and then it kind of faded out. You don't hear about it anymore, but how good is that? Should people take that? Absolutely. Coenzyme Q10 is a cellular energy nutrient. You know, I was, I've told people this all the time. You can fit 10,000 human cells on a pinhead. So imagine that every single one of those cells needs an energy source coenzyme q10 is that energy source it's the at it's the fuel that runs the whole cellular mechanism without it you're you're just not going to function now back to the gut <clears throat> trust your gut gut instinct guts the second brain could it be possible that it's the first brain could it be possible that the gut tells the brain what to do that's an interesting concept because when you think about bacteria, the good flora or the bacteria that are within the gut, we've got about 23,000 genes, right? The bacterial genes are 3.3 million. They outnumber our genes by 10 to 1. So the microbiome, the microbiome, the human microbiome, it is incredible what is happening within our gut. So for you to say that what you just said, maybe that is really our first brain and it's a transport mechanism 
that gets you to the other end. Did something just explode? Yes. That was you? That's me telling the bomb squad, better pay attention. You're not passing gas, right? No. Okay, just want to make sure. I don't do that. <laughs> there, there, there's only, I mean, we have a lady in the room. That's true. That's true. But I can tell you this. Uh, I believe, like, big time in the gut. You are so right. I, I, I've been saying this, Brad. I mean, I've been saying this for over 30 years. And if our gut is not healthy, you are not going to be able to do and perform and function the way you should. And by the way, we can, I can look at your tongue and I can look at your skin. And I can tell you how healthy you are and how healthy your gut is. Because your skin's the largest organ of elimination in the body. So these are all mirrors that we can look at. And there are so many things that we can see on the outside that will reflect what's going on on the inside, but, which doctors don't pay attention to. Skin bad, gut's bad? Skin bad's gut bad. Right, mm. think about this. If you have somebody with psoriasis, eczema, acne, they all have skin problems. There are skin manifestations with people with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, etc. They are the dermatologic manifestations or the skin manifestations of what's going on in the intestine. The skin is the largest organ of elimination in the body. So when I it's see... It's just the largest organ, period, isn't it? It is. The, you're right. The integumentary system. When I see commercials, and I don't get myself into trouble here, but at this point, we know we've got to say it as it is. We see a commercial for somebody that, you know, a medicine, and by the way, we're one of the only countries in the world that can advertise medicine on TV to consumers, all right? You, you can't do that anywhere, anyplace else. Hmm. So you're advertising a, a drug for your gut, right? You've got whatever, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. And what are they doing on the way to, the, as part of that commercial? They're going to buy ice cream. So they're putting more toxins and more sugar into their system. Our system is so broken, it's shameful. It is disgusting how broken our system is. We have people, you know, instead of telling people that they can go eat their, their, <clears throat> their sugary foods, what they really should be doing is saying, look, genius, you need to be making better food choices so that you won't need all that garbage that's out there. That's what bothers me more than anything. Mm, mm. Now, a lot of my listeners are entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them are doctors, dentists, lawyers, chiropractors, insurance people, car salesmen, all kinds. They're running around trying to build something, trying to earn more money, spend more time to build a better life, right? Right. Who isn't? What kind of what kind of like effect can a can a poor health or a poor gut have on like productivity focus things like that you can't process you can't process you what did i i said that this before 70 percent of the serotonin 70 percent of your neurotransmitters are made in your gut what if your mood is not right what if you're not able to sleep what if you're not able to think what if you don't have energy how in heaven's name are you going to be able to sell, you know, in order to sell anything, you first have to sell yourself. You have to be able to project a, an air of, of confidence, of, of health. You can't sell health if you're 300 pounds and, you know, in the tire business. You just dunlopped over there. I mean, it's just not going to work. So you got to do what you got to do and you got to do it the right way. And the right way is through food or supplementation? Both. You got to do it. both. You got to do both. You would have to eat 12 bowls of spinach today to equal the iron concentration of one bowl of spinach from the 1930s. So does that mean you should not eat spinach? <clears throat> because spinach, you know, it, it doesn't have the iron concentration that it did, but it still has fiber. It still has all of the other nutrients that are part of the program. So you can need to continue eating that spinach but you have to supplement what you're missing from your food and folks if you guys are watching on the video this dude's like 92 years old so I, <laughs> i'm telling you like his shit works he doesn't he doesn't look a day over 50. 
And then what's interesting is you're not one of the quote unquote conspiracy or far right people. You're a, a practicing doctor that creates unbelievable supplementation for all kinds of high line things, right? Yes. And looking at the body at the cellular level. However, you mentioned the other day when we were chatting about 5G. What's up with 5G? <laughs> What what isn't up with five G? I, I wrote something down for you that I want to like. I'm going to get suppressed <clears throat> again on social media because you even mentioned five G. They stop like letting your videos get seen. They sometimes they'll just straight delete you. Well, first of all, five G is called electro smog. It's electro smog, and that's a great way to put it. But I wrote down studies that have been documented with the dangers of five G. Number one. Now these are factual. These are these are studies that have been done that have shown damage. Damage to the eyes, damage to the skin, damage to the heart, damage to the immune system, damage to cellular growth. This is interesting. Damage to bacterial resistance. And on a plant level, what it does is it destroys the ecosystem and again, I said this to you before, bees need a sonar. They, they, they go and they focus and they do what they do based on their innate ability to follow electromagnetic waves. That's how birds migrate. They follow the, 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 the electromagnetic poles and how they, that's how they get to where they get to. So all of this, when you interrupt that energetic flow, what you're going to do is things are going to get confused. You know, instead of going over here, you're going to end up going over here. But here's what also what happens. These are the adverse biological aspects of 5G. You have DNA breaks of single or double-stranded DNA. You have oxidative damage. We know what oxidative damage is. Oxidation is rusting. So you're going to rust faster. You're going to age faster. Disruption of cellular membranes. The cell membrane is how cells talk to each other. They communicate with each other through their membranes. Increase blood-brain barrier permeability. So if you're increasing... Hey, hey real quick, blood-brain barrier. Mm -hmm. Explain what that is. The blood-brain barrier is there's a barrier that doesn't allow toxins to get into the spinal fluid. So there's a barrier that protects that that area if you will should anybody should anybody tamper with or mess with a blood brain barrier uh no so is the covid test that goes up your nose touching the blood no, brain barrier no no not even close you sure i'm positive okay good if you're touching your blood brain barrier dude you're in trouble well i keep telling people when i send that i'm like dude i'm dude i'm like dude don't get the brain scraper no, that's, no, no. That's no. touching your blood brain barrier. No, they're, no, they're, no. They're no. probably they're probably sticking something in there. No, there's that's that's not happening. Right, that's not happening. So just, uh, actually I'm showing my followers that you're not a right wing conspiracy nut. You're an actual doctor that is talking actual facts that five G will destroy your at you at the cellular level. And it will. And again, it reduces melatonin production. If you reduce melatonin production, you have trouble sleeping, right? It uh, disrupts the brain glucose metabolism, so sugar <clears throat> metabolism within the brain. And you need sugar in order for your brain to do what it does, and it generates stress proteins. So you mess up cortisol, you mess up the adrenals. I mean, this what this is going to do to us is, I don't even know, I can, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm afraid, not for me, but for my grandchildren. I seriously mean that. Well, now, I look at my phone right now. It says 5G right now. Are we talking about 5G in my hand or the 5G <clears throat> towers that are getting put up? Well, the 5G and the towers are going into your phone. Yeah, but we've had these 5Gs for a while. Well, I mean, but they, the towers are sending... Your phone is programmed to use the 5G signal, all right? Whether, you know, it's like the, remember the TV. Yeah, but is there a 5G around us right now? I, I don't know if you have towers here. You probably do. Why wouldn't we? I, I don't know. I don't know. Aren't I, they I don't everywhere? Know. They're supposedly are going to be everywhere. So didn't, didn't, Isn't that where they popped up first? Wuhan, China? Oh, that I don't know. <laughs> see? I, I, no, I'm serious. See, folks, he's, I don't no, know. he's no conspiracy nut. He doesn't even know that. Like, I don't. See, the, ask the conspiracists. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's what caused it all. <laughs> see, I want to find the right in between. That's why, you know, I want to make sure these guys listening, they're like, you know, because sometimes I've had doctors that 
like are are seriously into holy shit dude the world the sky's falling you're just making a, a, a an observation of shit you found in factual testing yes it and and that's where we have to go i think there needs to be a balance look some of the stuff we're doing is nuts some of the stuff we're doing is is all right where is the in between that we can do that we can really help people you yeah. know where is that in between that we're not going off the deep end on either end and that's what and that's ultimately what you ended up fueling this fuel for closers yes yes and i think you know when when james came to us and he said look you know we need to develop something that's for real we need to develop something with technology my whole thing has always been delivery systems with technology for example you can take a liquid I mean, you can take a liquid, you can go to the store, you can buy a liquid, you can buy liquid products, but what's the technology in there? What is the technology in order to deliver those nutrients into your system? Through all the natural barriers and Correct. blockades. Correct. So using the right delivery system, and we use something called, for the, the, for the core four, we use something called nano-sized nano particles and also liposomes. Nano-sized particles are 10 to the minus 9th, so they're tiny, tiny, minuscule particles. We deliver them in what is called a liposomal delivery system. A liposome is a sphere. It's a, what is called a lecithin sphere. And if you take an onion and you cut that onion in half, you have the rings around that onion. What we do is think of us having hundreds of trillions of those onions with the nutrients right in the middle. And then we have all those less than the spheres, the fatty protection for it throughout the body so that it's a slow release delivery system. It doesn't, boom, hit you all at one time. It's a slow delivery system using the liposomes and then the nanoparticles will help you get for them to get to where they get to. Increasing bioavailability. So I can increase the absorption and the utilization of those nutrients by using the right technology. And, and ultimately where I want to go with it is, again, people are out there building companies, work, need to work 12, 18 hours. Now COVID, right? COVID's right. hitting. Everybody's worried. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. Got to wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. By the way, what's your thoughts about masks? I think masks are important. You I do. do. I do. Here's why. How is this virus or any virus spread? Through saliva. Bio. Yes. But how do you get that saliva into you? French kissing. Well, depends on who you're French kissing. <laughs> or sneezes, whatever. Air, Correct. air, who knows? You it's, touch something that someone else touched, then you touch yourself. Right. I would, I would assume most transmission is, is based on f your own hand touching your mouth or eyes. Now, you look at these geniuses on the plane, right? I mean, I travel all every, literally before this whole nonsense hit, I was traveling every day, literally every week on a plane. And I would see people picking their nose and biting their fingernails on a plane at Newark Airport. I, I said to one guy, I looked at one guy and said, dude, that really isn't a good idea. You know, and the, the reason I say that is because you're sitting next to me, man. Don't do that. Because, and here's why I say the thing with the mask. The reason I say the thing with the mask is this. You just said sneeze. You just said cough. You said touching this, right? You're touching something. These are called fomites, right? The stuff around us. This is a fomite. This pen is called a fomite. It is a mode of transmission of something else that's used to carry the organism. So you touch this, and then what do you do? You touch your eyes, you touch your nose, you touch your mouth, you pick your nose, you stick your, bite your fingernails. If you have a mask and somebody sneezes, and there's particulate matter in the air. Spittle. Spittle, exactly. You, that's why I'm sitting so far away from you is because I don't want that on me or you don't no, want me on you. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want no damn spittle. But seriously. I like, I like this whole social distancing thing anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, like I'm glad COVID happened just for that. Like I don't like the mask though. I don't yeah, like the, the mask. The mask is tough. The mask is tough, but it does protect you, Brad. I mean, not, it really does. Not from does. coronavirus. It protects you. It gives you a layer of protection that I think is 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 important so so then why do all the boxes say they don't what say they say right on the mass box that you purchase 
this does not prevent or stop COVID. It also the says, micro particles are so small, it's like wearing a chain link fen- fence to stop flies from coming in. Right. It's not working. It's not right. helping. Well, also, will, it, will, it, will it block some spittle? Well, I'm sure it would. But if I have if I have COVID in my spittle, I'm probably infected, right? Right. So now if you hang out with me, mask or no mask, you're going to get it. Possibly. Muslim yes. countries are getting in a lot of the uh, ladies there wear the burqas mm-hmm. or whatever they're called. Burqas, yeah. Yeah. Why, why are they getting it? Yeah. They got masks on every day, all you know, day. There are all kinds of warnings. China wears masks before all the even time. COVID. All the they, time. They're all sick too. All the time. So why ain't it working? I think it's not working because the masses aren't doing it. That's why I don't think it's working. I think it needs to be done. You think by... it'd be worse if everyone took their mask off? Look, there's two theories here, okay? The, the one is if I wear a mask, and, and hear me out on this, if I wear a mask, it's a good thing. But at what point do you say we take the mask off and let everybody get infected? So here's my theory. My theory is this. At some point, we know people that are immune com- compromised and immune suppressed. Look, I had five patients in my practice die of the COVID virus in New Jersey. Okay, so this is not to be taken, you know, just, oh, this is a joke. It isn't. But here's the deal. And this is where the reality comes in. The reality comes in is here's you with the mask. As soon as you take the mask off, now what? Because at some point, unless we say we're going to ma- wear masks forever, or do we say take the masks off? For those of you that are immune suppressed, and what is the definition of immune suppression? The definition of immune suppression is people with cancer, cancer treatment asthma, COPD, heart disease, lung disease. Those are the diabetes. Those are the people that are immune suppressed. Do we say to them, stay home? If that's what you got, stay home and wait for the vaccine. Or or, or how about stay home and start exercising? How about stay home and change your fucking diet? How about stay home and start drinking some water and taking care of yourself and taking your fucking pills or whatever they are the 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 core four and the immune and 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 correct it not just stay home and hide you know what if i didn't have my mask on i'd come over and french kiss you but at this point you know what the deal is is you hit the would you hit that bomb thing again there you go okay you hit the nail on the head here's why what we're doing right now is what the government should be doing right now is what they should be giving out probiotics, vitamin D, and CAMU. That's what the government should be doing right now to build our immune system. Because by the time we get this virus under control, people are going to be in trouble. Why don't we build that immunity? Why don't we support the health of our immune system? And I said this to you as we, were, as we were talking this morning. I would never in a million years take myself or my grandchildren out on a boat without a life jacket because the chances of the boat capsizing are pretty low. But if it does, I have protection for them. When I take them for a ride in my car, I'm not going to just put them in the back seat and say, jump around. I'm going to put them in a car seat. I want that level of protection. And it's the same thing we need to do now. We need to protect ourselves and protect ourselves and defend ourselves from this virus. And that's the way to do it. And that Camu, tell me about that. That's like that little fruit size of about a cherry. <clears throat> cherry. Cherry, right? Camu is, the, is, a, is a fruit from the Amazon. It is about the size of a cherry. It has the vitamin C concentration of 60 oranges, but not only 60 oranges. Per cherry? Per, per berry. Per berry. Per so berry. if I eat one camu berry, is it camu? Camu, yes. You say camu or no. is it camu? It's camu camu. Camu camu. It's so good they gave it two names of the same. So if I eat a camu berry, berry. the size of a cherry. Correct. That's like eating 60 oranges? That would be getting the vitamin C equivalent of 60 oranges? Correct. And one little cherry? Correct. It is very, very tart. You will barf if you eat one. I can promise you that. Would you? That's a medical term, barf. Um, if you do eat one of those, it is, and I've had them. I mean, it is 
like your face just gets sucked in. It's so tart. But the natives eat this, and they just, I mean, obviously, they're, they're used to it. But what we did was... How, how old's the average age of the natives? Um, I haven't done any, any chronology surveys down in Brazil or Peru, but like again... 160? It's probably around one one fifty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just take take <laughs> take like? Yeah. Seriously though, like you see people that live longer than others. You look at their diets. It's like why don't like action causes mm -hmm. like result. Right. Anyway, so camu camu more than sixty oranges. Keep going. And and it's not just the the oranges. I mean, it's not just the vitamin C in there. It is also the other nutrients, the other vitamins, the other minerals that are in there. Camu is actually called a pharmacy in a fruit. Because there's so much in there that it's just one of the most... A lot of people don't know about it. They know about acai. They know about goji. They know about all the other berries. But very few people know about camu. Hmm. So I want to talk about four specific products just, just to make sure they're in this episode. The, f the core four you developed. Yes. They're called Awake, Recharge, Burn, and Focus. Yeah? Function. Function. Yeah. And by the way, I started taking them. So and I, so I how can, do you how do you feel with that? Well, I feel definitely uh, more focused. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always been energetic, so I wouldn't say I feel a lot more energy, but I do feel a lot more focus and uh, aware. I would say yes. And then and then uh, when I say energy, I've taken you know I don't want to say pills mm -hmm. but supplements mm -hmm. before that right. were supposed to give you energy. And I always felt like I drank too much coffee. Correct. I'm taking the whole energy thing, which might be doing it, but it's smooth. Like I don't have any jitters. I don't feel like I've eaten caffeine or anything. It just, it just, it just feels like a, like a constant source of energy. It's a different, it's a different type of energy. And again, we don't want the stimulant energy, right? We don't want the energy rushes from adrenaline. That is not the type of energy because it's going to burn you out. We, we do we do once in a while. We, no, we do. Right. I mean, I'm talking about here's here's the and here's the thing that's that's important. What we are used to in this country is we're used to the lion constantly chasing us and you're running all day because that lion's going to eat you if you stop. All right? That's not normal. What is normal is what you just said is Yes, the lion needs to chase you once in a while, but then you need to rest. The energy that you're talking about right now, <laughs> I was going to actually tell you to do that, but I'm yeah, glad but you, I did. But you must not listen to the show because nobody tells me no, no, when, I'm <laughs> when, to drop, when to drop a bomb. Yeah, See, but <laughs> I, get, I, I decide when I don't get one over here? No, no I don't know. No, Hey, by the way, I tried it once. I had a bomb over there, yeah. but they just kept setting their bomb in the dumbest shit. I'm like, nope. No, no, you got to control We're that. taking the bombs you out. That's that. right. No, but seriously, this is, this is an important piece because that energy, and you said something very important. I don't realize you don't know if you realize what you just said. My energy, what you said was, was different. Yes, it's a different type of energy because what we're doing is... We're giving you green tea. We're giving you B12. You know, we're giving you Panax ginseng. By the way, that's called an adaptogen. And we'll talk about adaptogens in a little bit. But it's that type of energy that gives you stable cellular energy. It doesn't give you the spikes of, ah, ah. It doesn't do that. It gives you calm cellular energy. And what's going to be is good for you is that you can now function on a level that you're not burning your adrenal, your, your, your adrenal glands out. So cortisol is not going all over the place. You're at a stable level, and the line is not always chasing you. So fuel for closers, if you guys are interested in, in, in any of this, you want energy, you want to be able to focus, you want to be able to like think better. Remember the limitless pill? It's kind of like that, but not so dramatic. Right. You know, you, you focus, you, f you feel energetic. You're, you can chase your kids around all day or focus on projects that you need to get completed to advance your business. So there's four components. There's fuel function, which I just said is you wake up in the morning, you got to wake up your cells. It is that cellular stamina. It's that cellular energy that you want. And I call it cell wake up. Then we have what is called the awake, which is our nootropic. I now want to wake up my brain. 
I want my brain to be working at 100%. I want to be able to build my business. I want to see my patients. I want to focus on my patients. And I want to give them the best treatment that I can to improve their longevity and to improve their health. Then what I want to do is I want to give you the burn. The burn is for blood sugar support. It's for for fat burning. It's to clean out that liver. And it's to do all of the things. One of the worst things you can do is for to have sugar that goes boom, 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 you know, to go all over the place. Every single time your sugar goes up, what happens is your body makes insulin. And every time you make insulin, you, you build fat. Insulin is called a lipogenic substance. So it's a fat building substance. So taking insulin every day, you're just getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And guess what? You need more and more and more insulin. So it becomes this vicious, vicious cycle. And then last but not least, you got to sleep. And that's where our recharge comes in. 5-HTP, melatonin, and some good fats. You got to get to sleep. You got to get you got to get to sleep, stay asleep, and get to deep levels of REM sleep, and then wake up in the morning fully charged and ready to go again. That's what this system is all about. The first three you take in the morning, the last one, which is the recharge, you take at night. End of story. Yeah, I've got recharge at the old nightstand. Mm-hmm. I Good. got the I got the function at the toothbrush. Good. The sink, and I got the burn and the and the awake out at the coffee maker perfect actually you know what brad that's perfect that's exactly the way you need to do it and i like the fact the fact that you're doing it in those stages like that but don't forget now on top of that you need that you need that protection which is the core four which excuse me which is the the immune bundle which is the probiotic the vitamin d and the um, ADK the Camu, five. the ADK five, right? And we'll. I'd love to talk a little bit more about that too, and the difference in what we have. Well, I do do that. Okay. Right. Only because, dude, if you don't have Kevlar, you know, you can't very well be Superman. Great. Again, again, I may, if you don't mind, I might use that analogy of yours with the Kevlar. You're right. That's exactly what it. The that's exactly what that immune bundle is. It's protection. It's that Kevlar in case. The guy sitting next to you is picking his nose and biting his fingernails on the plane. Or has COVID. Or has COVID. Right? And, by, and by the way, maybe that little, you know, crown thing gets inside you and your body does what it's supposed to do and it just fucking kills it. Exactly. Man, I love you. You're absolutely <laughs> that's right. That's what it's supposed to do. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's that's all I'm asking people to do. Immune systems protect- and pandemics. Can I leave now? No. That's great. That's all that's all that's said there to be said. No, you're right. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well well again, I mean the the I can't feel the immune bundle. Correct. Right? I can feel the other ones. So if I'm like I'm listening and in, if I was in the bomb squad listening, mm-hmm. I would be thinking, you know, I like the sound of those core four. Mm-hmm. You know, my immune system will pay attention only because a lot of people they can't feel the best shit. Like, in other words, if I gave you this and said this will protect you from cancer, if you drink this, you won't get cancer, you'll never know if it works unless you get cancer. So it's like you can't feel not getting cancer, right? You see what I'm saying? Right, right. So like this immune stuff, I don't feel the Kevlar. I don't have to carry it around. It doesn't cause a deficiency anywhere else. Like wear Kevlar around and you'll get tired of the Kevlar because it's actual Kevlar. But this stuff... You take it, and you just got now cellular Kevlar specifically protecting you from from any kind of shit, let alone energy-draining, focus-taking nonsense. Well, the the, the hospitals, Eh? there was a hospital in New York York that did a trial in intensive care on COVID patients. And this is documented. This is in the literature. They gave these people intravenous vitamin C. And guess what? They got better. Okay, so why aren't we using that? Why aren't we using that? The doses weren't right, but at least they did the trial. Well, maybe because other people would pop out their eyeballs on the same dose. No, 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 no. It was a small dose. I mean, we're talking... You yeah, know, but how do you know it wouldn't affect other people differently? A thousand milligrams a couple of times a day is not going to hurt you intravenously. I'm sorry. It's not. 
<laughs> well, again, I know, <laughs> according to the studies. Acqu- well. But somebody who's allergic to vitamin C, it'd kill them. I don't know anybody that's allergic to vitamin C. <laughs> you sure? I'm pretty sure. Show it to me and we'll make sure that they're not. Here's the thing with allergies. Here's you- something very interesting. Here's something interesting with allergies. Most of the time, it isn't the nutrient that they're allergic to. It's the crap around it. It's the pr- it's what it's wrapped in. Is it is it in a capsule? Is it in a, is, are there dyes with it? Are there other things with it? They're usually not allergic to the ingredient. They're allergic to the stuff around it, the preservatives, the chemicals. That's where the allergies come in. Believe it or not. And that's what causes the problem. It's very true. Example with fish oils. A lot of people say I'm allergic to fish oil. No, you're not. You're allergic to the capsule, the garbage that's around the fish oil that's producing the problem. Yeah, there are real allergies. Don't get me wrong. There are people that are allergic to shellfish and to fish. Yes. But you have to differentiate the two, and that's where good allergy testing comes in. So so what made you all decide, you know, we need to get this formula out there for the hustlers, the the single moms chasing their kids all day but still putting in a day's work, the the single dads, the, the freaking salespeople, the entrepreneurs. The Patriots, huh? The Patriots. <laughs> the Patriots, right. What What made us well? Yeah. Well, uh, because I think that so many people- I mean, it's s- for everybody. But those those when you say fuel for closers, which mm-hmm. is the company. Right. Fuel for closers. It's like, you know, what fuel are you taking? This is just the health and wellness part of it. But the fuel for closers formulated specifically with you that those products- so, and by the way, if anybody's saying, dude, I want some of this shit, go to fuel for the number four closers.com and click the super pack. Cause if you're going to buy the core four and the immune, you save money on the super pack. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's <laughs> the boss the is sitting over here. So we'll have to, we'll have to check with him, but that's, yeah, but that's, that's a cool true. name. I wonder who brought that up, but whoever it is was smart. Cause that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I wanted the core four, right. To get right. the focus and the energy and the freaking. Yes. And I wanted to try it because I've tried this shit before and it's like makes me feel jittery and I'm like, it's yeah. stupid and I'm not taking it. And it tastes like ass. <laughs> Only one of yours tastes like ass. Well, And it doesn't really taste like ass. It's actually not bad, but compared to the rest of them, it's not that good. It tastes like kind of like grass, that burn. Yeah, yeah. It's- Burn's not my favorite, but you know what my favorite is? The sleep? Awake. Really? It's like grape or something. I was just going to say the 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 I want to I want to chug it. It's no, so don't good. Do that. But but I but I can't. Obviously, it's 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 in the dropper, but right. dude, it's it's good. Of course I love grape crush. It's a maybe patented that's, maybe it's, that's why. It's a patented grape extract that we use with clinical studies and that's why we didn't want to mask the flavor. We said we're using a patented grape extract. Let's just keep it grape. Because some you should have done that with all of them. No, but here's the thing: the the of the awake is there are ingredients in there that are really hard to cover up the 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 taste. You know, it's like B vitamins. B vitamins stink. Right? Yeah, but awake's good. Which one did you say you didn't like? Burn. Oh, the burn, burn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The burn is there That's are that gets the liver fighting fat all day long. Exactly, because you you know what the problem with the burn manage is? your insulin spikes. Bitter melon. Bitter melon is one of the ingredients in there, and that's why it's called bitter melon because it's bitter, and it's really hard to cover up. But I'll tell you what, even that, it really isn't bad, as you said. No, it's, the no, others it's not are, bad. The others it's are, not bad. The others are great. But it's not that good. The the grape one, holy shit, that yeah. one. I want to chug it. I'm like, I want to like just go, 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 just so I can get it's the good. flavor. Yeah, it's good. It, it doesn't taste like supplements. Yeah, it tastes good. it tastes good. The 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 recharge. I never really know what that tastes like because it seems like I I I do it. And then I wake up in the morning. Exactly. That I'm kicks serious. in. That kicks in twenty to thirty minutes. And like you're like and you're norm- out. Normally I'll watch T V for a good hour and a mm-hmm. half. And then, you know, I take that recharge, which is the wrong name, I think. Like recharge. I get it now that you're talking about recharge your body while you're sleeping. Recharge almost makes me think like, you know, zing. Yeah. But but dude, you take that and then like, dude, I can't watch billions anymore. I turn billions on. I take Great recharge, show. take billions, think I'll watch this, fall asleep. I always wake up. I'm like pissed. I, 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 I didn't get to see the other half. And here's the thing. And I don't remember going to sleep either. It's just I take it, I'm watching TV, and then I'm waking up in the morning. It's almost like I'm, I'm drugged. And people have taken melatonin. A lot of people have tell, taken melatonin and 5-HTP. But 
they they still have trouble going to sleep because the delivery system is not right. They didn't allow they didn't provide the right vehicle to carry those nutrients into the body. That's where we come in. That's so where what, this is different. So what'd you do with the recharge? You figure out a way to get it to be, you know, basically all the polyunsaturated hydrocarbons flow through the medulla oblongata <laughs> and increase the blood flow to the erector pili. No, that's a that's a different mechanism of action. Right. <laughs> what'd you do? What we that's did, how I would have done it. Well, Yes, but um, I'm not sure that would recharge. That would recharge something it, else. It really wouldn't recharge what you're talking about. Well, that's but why. Anyway. I, that's why I do it that way. <laughs> but here's what I did. As long as this recharge, who cares where? I took a particle that was this big. That was a big particle. Let's say the particle was um, two microns. An inch. Okay. Let's use microns. Let's use two microns in diameter. By the way, bacteria. Most bacteria are, are about two microns. That's the size of the bacteria. And if I can now reduce that particle to 10 to the minus ninth, which is a nano size particle now, which is minusculely much smaller than that, yeah. the absorption, the surface area, the absorption of how those nutrients are going to get into my cells is going to be better. And you know what? We have the data to prove it. So I have data to pr prove but by using this delivery system this stuff is going to get into your body and into your cells and into your bloodstream faster and better than anything you've ever done. Hmm. Is, is, it, is it addictive in any way? Not at all. Because I, I, I somehow find myself wanting to get up and take my function. No, that's, that's a great is point. Is placebo? No, no. What's happening with you is this. Your body knows that it's doing something and it knows and senses that it's something good. So now what your body wants is that good, that good uh, stuff, goodness, the good stuff. You don't want to keep doing the garbage. You want to continue doing the good stuff. Your body remembers, your body remembers every single thing you do and it, and it imprints. And now what's happening is when you sleep, everything you've learned during the day gets imprinted and it stays with you to the next day. That's why overnighters for, for college, bad idea. Never did it. Because if you study during the day, you'll remember it for the test, but you'll forget it for your boards three years later. Imprint. That's a good word. Yes. Imprint. I don't think enough people understand imprinting. Imprinting? We can imprint... Whenever, for example, we're having a conversation here today, you will remember certain nuggets of what I said. I will remember certain things that you said. The only way that I will remember that five years from now is if that message gets imprinted into my memory banks. The only way that that gets imprinted properly is by sleeping. But You have to sleep on it? You. Okay. That's true. These, all of these sayings, you know, it's a gut feeling. I have to sleep on it. You're a fat head. There's, there's, you know, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. I've heard it's all those real. but fat head. You never heard fat head? No one's ever called me a fat head. Oh, people have called someone, me fat Someone's head. called me a fat ass. <laughs> well, you know oh, what? Yeah, that's where smart ass that, comes from. That's where burn comes in. <laughs> yeah, but that's where smart ass comes in. It's because someone said fat ass and fat head means you're smart. smart. You're smart, yeah. Your I brain you. your brain is working. I get your you. brain is working. These cliches that or not cliches, euphemisms. What do they call those? Those those sayings. They're probably they're probably euphemisms or, you know, I don't want to say the wrong thing cuz I'll get, you know, 20 other emails saying or 20,000. These, these old sayings. Old sayings, there you go. Wives tales. There you go, even better. Urban myths. Oh no. <laughs> you, 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 you've got some urban myths. Let's talk about those for a moment. The urban myths. What's an urban myth in your mind? Um, one of the urban myths I like is that chocolate's no good for you. Theobromine. Theobromine is, is, in, one of our, is in one of our products. In fact, it's in the Awake formula. 
Theobromine is from chocolate. It's one of the active ingredients in chocolate. Look, going out and eating bonbons is, is really not a good idea, but eating dark chocolate, greater than 70 72% cocoa. Cacao. Cacao. Great idea. <laughs> Great idea. So, you like that word? No, I just never know if it's cocoa or cacao. It depends on where you're saying it's it. It's like that acai berry. Is it acai? Acai or acai? It depends on where you are. You know, I, I don't want to get myself in trouble here, but I can give you a great analogy as to where each one is set. Well, well like when you, when you get pure dark bark chocolate that the hippies eat. Okay. I'm talking about the earthy folks. Like yeah. they come in with their berets. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they have no preservatives in anything. They, they burn, what's it called? I hate that smell. Um, Head shop smell like it. Uh, Patchouli. Uh, yeah. They burn the incense and the patchouli. Okay. Buddies of mine, just like this, dude. Yoga, the whole thing. They love their dark bark chocolate. Yes. Well, one time I'm like, they're like, chocolate. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'll, I'll eat it. it. tastes like shit, but it's apparently real ass Phenomenal. chocolate. Phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I don't know where I was going with that now, other than it's great for you, real chocolate. And it, I would think, like, you ever have a hot cocoa? Mm-hmm. You didn't have a hot cacao. So what is it, cocoa or cacao? It's from the cocoa bean, which is called cacao. In See, why are they trying to confuse us? That's the problem. So it's, is it hot cacao? Probably. And everyone's been saying hot cocoa? Yeah, you idiots. I mean, what the hell's, what's wrong with these Well, people? I just like correcting people when I find them in error because I want them to proceed from me better than I found them. So I go around correcting people. You should be a... <laughs> you should be a I'm not sure that that may be another <laughs> urban legend, you know. So no, no, I correct people so they don't make the same mistake. It's like you know, I'm the type of dude that'd say, "Dude, you got a big booger in your nose," and people be like, "Oh, I can't believe you just told him that." Well, dude, you want him to walk up to the next five people with this flinger going in and out with his breath? Like you ever seen that happen? Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that now with the mask. Yeah, but I'm always That's another with, reason to wear a mask. No, nah, I don't know about the mask. <laughs> Now, again, if if I was around immune compromised people that felt better that I wear a mask and it was going to be temporary and I needed to be there, I would wear a mask. I'm like not one of those dicks that are like, you're respectful. I refuse. You're respectful. No, like my daughter, wonderful. my daughter had to go under because she panics with the dentist. So mm-hmm. they put her under. When you go under, you might not come back. You know that. So I'm like, I'm going in there. Well, they have a strict mask policy. Right. So I wore a fucking mask. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, I'll wear a mask. But if I'm walking into a restaurant and they're saying, I'm sorry, sir, you need a mask to walk from there to here. Not from here to there. You're okay there. But from there to here, I need you to have a mask. I just won't eat there. Like, are you going to make- a lot of places to eat. Yeah, but are you going to make me dance through a stupid ass hoop like that? You're telling me that the fucking COVID stops at the fucking reception desk? (laughs) Like, dude, are you kidding me? There's a person right there without a mask, laughing, yawning, looks sickly too. And sneezing. sweaty. (laughs) Fuck, this guy shouldn't even have been let in the fucking restaurant. Big old sweaty motherfucker looking all pale. Fuck, like, dude, did you take his temperature? Holy shit, he's sitting there right now without a mask. You're making me wear a mask. Fully, fully looking all <laughs> healthy to the to the eye. Like, I don't have, I'm not pasty. Right, I have nothing to say to you about that. Why? I don't. But can we go back to something? Sure. I forget what I was going to go back to now. Well, let me make, let me finish my point, then we can go back. My point is, I'm not against masks. But I'm also not for stupidity. Yes. If you go into the gym and got to wear a mask, then fucking stand up and say, people got to wear a mask in here. When we're running, when you're fucking running, especially. When you're running. Right? But don't say, no, you have to walk in with it, and then you can walk over there and take it off. You're safe over there, but you're not right here. Like, dude, that's stupid. That's just stupid. Don't don't involve me in your stupidity was my point. Right. And again, masks, to me, they're stupid. Why? Well, you look at the box. It says, this won't stop COVID, getting it or giving it. And I'm like, okay, well, then why am I wearing it? And then they don't make you wear it the whole time. They just make you wear it so you so you look like you're dancing for them. Yeah. You know, act the way we tell you to, bitch, put your mask on. Okay, now you can take it off now that you've basically conformed. That's what I feel like for some reason. You know what? The whole thing is... is is the the problem is is that we haven't been given the right definitions and the right explanations we as as americans are very used to not being told what to do you know if you if you if you were in another country and they said you got to do this you would do it right you wouldn't question 
we don't we are not used to questioning here what we need to have here is we need to have better explanations for what they want us to do and that i think is the important piece here for me <laughs> the only reason i'm laughing is i'm thinking of a question and it was basically when i think of a mask and then you think of someone cutting a fart like is there fecal matter in that gaseous release and if there is <laughs> how many microns are there <laughs> Just I mean, there's just sulfur and methane. That's yeah. pretty much what's in there. It's a gas. So there's no fecal matter. Well, the fecal matter is going to stop in the mask, which is in your pants, which is your underwear, if you're wearing underwear. So that's what or my, your pants. That, that's my point. If a fart can get past your pants and underwear out into the open, that's different. It's a gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Well, I'm telling you, I am. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Well, I'm t I want to go back to the dentist. Okay. Important thing. One of the things that I tell my patients to do all the time, whenever they're under any kind of anesthesia, and this is a very, very important piece that people need to know. Before you go under any form of anesthesia, whether it be light sedation, obviously general anesthesia, you must always stop any nutrients, any vitamins, any supplements you're taking because a lot of botanicals will interact with the anesthesia, which is not a good thing. The other thing is, is you stop five to seven days before and you can restart three to five days later. One of the best things that I tell my patients to do before anesthesia is to clean your liver, pre and post. The reason is, where does anesthesia get, quote-unquote, filtered or cleared? In the liver. In the liver. If you have a dirty liver, and I, again, people just don't pay attention to their livers. They expect it to be doing what it's supposed <clears throat> to be doing. It's because they would rather be a good liver than have one. That's true. Because in order to be a good liver, you have to have a liver that is good. <laughs> All right? So if you want to be a good liver have a liver that is good to you and that's the important piece hey, and by the way aren't the livers one of the organs that could actually regrow correct and repair itself correct you can live with about don't know what the exact statistic is but you can live with about a third i believe it's about a third or a quarter of your liver will it grow back there is a certain regenerative property to the liver correct. and lungs i heard lungs to a degree but liver more but there's three organs that technically you cut one in half it'll grow back what is what are they liver lungs and um the brain doesn't grow back is it skin maybe this well the skin because yeah. that's an organ it's an it's an organ system right right i wish the finger or you know an arm imagine if you oh. cut off an arm and it grew back yeah there's that would make that would make it even more miraculous i always tell people that i believe that the human body in just how it works is miraculous it's beyond you know the human body it, think about this you break a bone you burn yourself you cut yourself within seconds within milliseconds that body is immediately healing so you cut yourself and you start bleeding what do you develop? You develop something called a platelet plug. It sends platelets. It sends platelets. It forms that plug. It knows you got cut. Right. It's the scab. And by the way, you're not intentionally doing this, folks. No. This is a different thing. Yeah, but that's important. Yes. Because again, I mean, you're not even intentionally doing it. Yeah. If I cut my arm right now, the body's going all by itself without even my knowledge, yeah. without even my intention. It's amazing. It really it's is miraculous. amazing. It's it, the only word I use, miraculous. That when you look at cells, if you look at cellular structure and how those cells do what they do and how they communicate, I mean, again, the amount of time that I've been doing this and the more I read and the more I learn, the more I realize how much we really don't know. It truly is miraculous. You know, think about this also, is pregnancy. Think about pregnancy. Pregnancy is a foreign body inside a woman's body. Foreign created bodies, by created by, but foreign bodies are supposed to be rejected from our bodies. Why isn't the fetus rejected? Because there's a whole nother system of intelligence that kicks in. To, that that is, as you said, the human body that recognizes that this is not a foreign body, which actually it is, and it allows it to grow and to and to and to create and to and to be born. See, that's it's why phenomenal. I, that's why I always say proof. If you want proof, there's a God because 
I believe there is one. Oh, yeah. Do you want proof? It's a female. Like, who, who made that? You see what I'm saying? Like a female? Yeah. It can create another human being. Yeah. It's the craziest thing. They made it, not it, but, you know, they made the female flawlessly, if you ask me. That's why we love our moms so much. I love my mother. My mother was, you know, I mean, she's still alive and um, is just one of those humans, right? Mothers have unconditional love. You could be the biggest schmuck in the world, but your mother is a whole different thing, right? It's your mother is just that creation that just loves you more than anything. Yeah, but not only that, like the girl, like to procreate with. Like who who thought of putting that right there? Right where ours is, yeah. where it where yeah. it fits in everything, yeah, it's and all of a sudden amazing. that's how the child that's how it's you replicate yeah. and produce another one and then another one. It's like whoa, and every single one of them is completely different, completely different. I have a seven year old and a five year old. You look at their pictures at the same age, you'll think they're identical twins, hmm. but they're not. But they act completely different. Amazing. Like, you, yes. I, like, isn't it weird how people have individual personalities? That's because of our DNA. This is where the next, you know, you were talking about anti-aging, right? Yeah, let's this go is, there for a minute, yeah. too, because there's a bunch of old bastards listening to me. Okay. They're so, starting to get a little long in the tooth, you know? <laughs> I'm serious. Like, no. I think anti-aging is the, is the next big gold rush. No question. I've been doing this, I've been working in this world for many, many decades, and people today, I mean, I have, a, I have a home down in Florida, and the folks down in this area of Florida just don't want to get old. No matter where you are, you just don't want to get old. Or you want to start, continue playing tennis or doing what you're doing when you're 90. You know what they say about Florida, right? Yes, I know what they say about Florida. You go there to die or whatever that No, it's, it's, it's heaven's waiting room. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you go there and wait. No, I, I, think, I, think, I think here's I, – I, I disagree with that. Here's why. There are people in my community where I live in Florida that have said to me, you know what, Doc? I have added 10 years to my life because I'm now more active versus being in New Jersey or New York where it's cold and you can't even go outside you know, to, to do anything. So I think where you live, no matter where you live, whether you're in New Jersey or New York or California, I don't care. If you are ready to make the commitment to health, you're going to be healthy. Stop making excuses. And that's where people go wrong, is for everything that they do, especially with aging, there's always a bloody excuse. Stop making those excuses and do the simple things. Well, people don't know them. Well, I'm going to tell you them right now. They are. Choose the right fuel. Choose the right food. Because if you don't put the right nutrients into your body, your engine is not going to perform. You are a 93 octane gasoline car why are you continuing to put kerosene in it and saying you know what i'm not getting any performance i have low energy your check engine lights on dude you've got diabetes you got high blood pressure you got a flat tire do something about it stop complaining and it's That's in the number, food and it's in the food number two you have to move you have to move i didn't say exercise and i didn't say diet for the first one, I said, put the right fuel. They're both four-letter words, but I didn't say diet because diets don't work. The well, everybody, right everybody, fuel But everybody, does. just for clinical <clears throat> description, is on a diet. They're wrong. Yeah, but everybody's on a diet. I don't care. Everybody's You're on wrong. A diet. I'm not on a diet. I've never been on a diet. What you ever. eat is your diet. What I do is I eat consciously. But that's a diet. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and debate you with that. <laughs> I should have a fucking honorary doctorate right I can, now. I can get you one. Thank you. you one. Um, so what you consume, number two, movement. I didn't say exercise. I said movement. The definition of exercise is a sustained heart rate for a sustained period of time. That's the definition of exercise. Vacuuming your house is movement. It's, it's moving around. It's great. Good idea, but that's not exercise. So you've got to move. Number well, th- which one? Got to move or got to exercise? You got to do both. You got to do both. So, you know, we've been sitting here for a little while. I mean, we should get up and move around a little bit just to get things <laughs> circulating. How, 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 what is the most, other than sleep, that you should be sedentary? Most you should be sedentary at the most 30 minutes. So if 30 minutes you've been sitting there watching a TV show, you should put hit pause, walk around the block a little bit. 
No, you don't need to walk around the block. You should at least walk around your house. Should you just get up and jump around? Get up around? and move. Get up and move. Exactly. Get, get up and do something. So exercise and be a- and remain active. Remain active. Number three, hormones. You got to take the right hormones. Look. <laughs> you're like, dude, go to Walmart. Get yourself the hormones you're supposed to get. <laughs> he says it like, you know, they're right there, dude. Just take the fucking hormones. They what, are right what there. What hormones? They I, are there. Dude, give me my hormones. I'll take them right now. <laughs> By the way, dude, I would expect Fuel for Closers to come up with something with anti-aging because all them core four, I'm sure we can find how it also, but like specifically. I love the also's, you know. Hey, this is for your diabetes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm interested in like fucking Botox. Oh, that'll also uh, create the antioxidants needed to block the freaking damage from the uh, radical, you know, shit in the they're air. They're called they're called copper peptides. Yeah, <laughs> like I want something specifically. Copper peptides. That's what should be developed. Okay, but that's a prescription. But we can work on that. Well, fuel foreclosures could be, you know, obviously, it's not prescription, but it could lead to, because when you start getting people with high-level fuel foreclosure yes. uh, mindset and, yes. and awareness of what they're trying to accomplish, I need Kevlar f- so I don't get sick, mm-hmm. and I need freaking focus and <clears throat> attention and energy and sleep and, and health. We're doing build, that program right now. Right? And then those people, if they're doing that, dude, they're the likely candidates to do that. Because, like, I'm listening, where's the hormones? You're absolutely correct. The program is this. The program is giving you the right hormones, right? Whether If you're a man, you're taking some testosterone. If you're a woman, you're taking estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Bioidentical or Bio- synthetic? Don't say that nasty word in front of me. Well, I'm just saying they're starting to try to Don't stop say you that from nasty. making bio, bioidentical hormones. They're, they're, they're trying to block that shit. That is unbelievable. Isn't it? That is freaking... See, again, like, I don't, who's allowing this? Who's voting for this? We How come are, four out of five doctors agree? How come y'all can't just agree? Listen... It's not the doctors, Brad. It, well, so, is, it is the pharmaceutical companies. For every person on Capitol Hill, for every congressman, there are two to three lobbyists. It is the biggest lobby in the world. So, bioidentical hormone. Your body knows what to do with estradiol. A woman's body knows what to do with estradiol. Even which if is get rid of it. Even, even if it, right, but like, it, the like bottom line is- put too it, much, it could say, I don't need that much. It knows what to do with it versus something that's synthetic. It's the same thing with genetically modified foods. You're not allergic to corn and to wheat and to barley. No, idiot. You're allergic to the genetically modified corn, barley, and wheat. So who's allowing them to modify it and serve it to the people? Come on. You don't know the answer to that question? You no. do know the answer. Well, to I mean, question. I mean, in general, in general, but right. like, who's the son of a bitch? Where if you freaking tied him up, no one would have to eat that shit anymore. Who who do we hold accountable? I think we need to hold accountable the seed producers, the people that are that are mandating that these particular seeds need to be used. See again, that that should be against the law, right there. But it isn't, unfortunately. Just like DuPont, you've seen Blackwater. Yes, yes. Did, Was I talking to you about this? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Blackwater, dude. Like, DuPont knew they were killing people, did it anyway because it's so profitable, and paid off millions in, in settlements. And they're like, everybody's happy. No, no, no. If you knew this was killing people, that makes you a murderer. That, that, that removes your ability to do business, period. DuPont should be out of business. Yeah. In any company that intentionally allows people to take their product again if you made something you didn't know and then everyone died like holy shit you know you'd stop producing it and you'd be like oh my god i'm so sorry everybody <laughs> and now maybe you got to pay people millions but you don't just stay in fucking business yeah do you no so it's the same people making these rules who's making these rules who's voting them in who's the dumb at? because again, it's our dude, fault yeah, it's but- the people that are out there that are voting for these for the for these congressmen first of all they shouldn't be in for 15 terms okay i mean come on so term it, limits I, I do i believe in term limits so i mean would I. even even you know anybody if you are the chairman of the board you're not the chairman of the board forever you're chairman of the board for x number of years unless it's your board unless it's your board and you own the company that's different nobody owns this company this excuse me nobody owns this country so the chairman of the board is not on the board for life nor should the, the 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 people on the board, which is the Congress, they need to have term limits, and this is where change is going to happen. You know, I mean, it has to happen. 
and, and until and until then, all you can do is is look it, in the mirror. It, exactly, because ain't no president or congressman or vice president of Montesanto or whatever it's called. What's it called? Montesanto, Montesano. So, it's Montessori. Whatever the company that basically <laughs> allows all this stupidity, GMOs, knowing full well. Like I watch these documentaries about like even meat. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, if I could, if it wasn't so inconvenient, I'd be vegan. My daughter's vegan. She says, if it wasn't inconvenient for them to die, I'm like, I don't kill them. I'm only eating them because they're already dead. Like bacon. I come to your house. You got bacon? That bacon would have been there whether I showed up or not. I'll eat it like that. Now, if you said, Brad, if you want bacon, go out in the back, get yourself a pig, kill that motherfucker, and let's have some bacon. I'd say, oh, I don't need no bacon. <laughs> I don't need no bacon. I'd say, you got any eggs? Yeah. We'll you, do the if eggs. You, if you said, go move the chickens, grab the eggs, I'd say, nah, what else you got? You got some fucking toast? <laughs> <laughs> now I know what to do when you come to my house. Yeah, I'll so, be vegan. And by the way, what's your thought about vegan? Do you think, do you think we're meant to eat animals? Oh, God. Okay. You know, these are lectures that I do. So, vegan. I think that... Let me, tell you, let me tell you what I do. What I do is I eat mostly vegetarian. I eat some chicken. I eat some... I eat fish. I eat very, very little beef. And I was explaining to these, to these gentlemen today that the <coughs> difference is beef has fibers that are very tight. Chick- Sinewy. What's Sanui? Would I? Would no, I? No, dude. Look, it's not a bradism. Define Sanui. Sinew means consisting of our resembling sinews. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like defining something with a definition. I love that. Oh, I love shit. that. So, beef, <laughs> beef fibers. <laughs> Beef fibers are very sinew. <laughs> it means chewy, so, chewy, tough. That's you what sinew is. Woven, means. yeah. Okay, so their beef fibers are very. What is that word? Sinewy. Sinewy. It sounds like snot, but it's very sinewy. Chicken fibers are not as sinewy, <laughs> and fish fibers are not sinewy at all. So the less sinewy you are with the fibers, the less dense you are, the easier it is to 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 digest and absorb. What I do is I le- eat a lot of lentils, I eat a lot of brown rice, I eat a lot of vegetables, and I eat some chicken and I eat some fish. I eat very little beef. Well, I don't. But when you do eat it, it's good, isn't it? Beef? Yeah. No, I don't like beef. You don't like steak? No. You don't like hamburger? Nah. Dude, I'll take, if someone said you can only have one more food, it's hamburger. For me, it would be a piece of salmon. Even over steak? Oh, God, yes. Any day. I never uh, like beef. Ugh. I know, I know where we're going for dinner tonight, but I'm not. <laughs> well, th- well, wherever you're going, if it's STK, that place is. Is that where you're going? Yeah, they got all kinds of good fish. Lack of sinewy options. They do. I've eaten there. It's phenomenal. I wonder if their menu's wide open again. It's as long as you wear a mask. So, so keep going though. Okay, vegan, so vegan. I want to. I want to make sure people take this way without me going sideways. You got to have the right fuel and the right food if you're going to want to anti-age and stay as young and healthy as possible. Right. So visually, we, got, we start number one. We started with with the right fuel, which is the diet. Yep. Number two, we started with movement or exercise. Yep. Number three, we go to hormones. Yep. And you just got to see a doctor for that, or. Yes, you do need to see a doctor for that. There are people who prescribe the hormones without actually seeing the doctor. What, what, what hormones should we ask our doctor about? The, Test? The, the levels that you should be testing are, for men, estrogen and testosterone. So estradiol and testosterone, mostly free and total testosterone along with estradiol for men. For women, we need estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, FSH, um, and... Uh, that's that's pretty. There's one or two more, but those are the biggies. Those never, are the, what about never bitch at all? Never bitch at all is a expensive test, <laughs> but um, we don't have a diagnostic code for that, so I don't order it very much. All right. Well, if we can get, if we can find that, th- there'd be more less divorces. There'd be all kind. There'd be fewer problems in the world. You know where where there would be less divorces? Where less marriages? Well, no. I think that one of the best things you can do for your marriage is to fix your hormones. Because when a lot of women and men, they separate because they have no libidos. The guys at the age of 50, I have 50-year-old guys, 45-year-old guys coming in to see me saying, 
man, it's not working. I look and say, dude, how can it not be working? You're 45. And then I check their testosterone, it's 200. There's so many toxins. There's so many poisons in, in, our, in our food. They're, they're what are called xenoestrogens. These estrogens, these are chemical estrogens that are messing up our bodies big time. So not having the right hormones is going to totally kill you. And what happens? You have no libido. You have no energy. Who's to, who wants to have sex when you have no libido? But it's true for I men. I do. But, but it's for men and women. If the woman has no libido and she's dry, right? Ew, if there's dryness. Don't ruin it. Don't no, ruin it. I'm talking medically here. We're not, this is not a porn show. <laughs> I know, okay? but still, you can't ruin the but, image. But listen to this. The, the image is the reality. And this is the reality. What woman is going to want something in there when you are so dry and a woman describes it as if a knife is going through me? Who How? wants to be in there if it's that dry? No. What woman wants it in there if it's that dry and it's hurting her? Neither. Nobody. Neither. That's, My that, point. That's what you, where you have a mutual agreement. The mutual agreement is let's do these hormones. I have a 72-year-old couple that a 70 year old couple that I put them on hormones. What they said to me was they feel like they are in, like they just got married. Their energy, their well, libido. Yeah, but you won't work with everybody. So what should people do if they're listening to this? They're talking about, dude, it is dry. I, we are like that. I need to fix it. Where's these hormones? You have to find a doctor. Can they call you? They can call me. They can call James first. <laughs> but hit up but hit, hit up at fuel for closers and just say no more dryness no more dry you're killing me well there's dude there's going to be a lot of people that are in that situation there, see people are just afraid to say shit i'm not i'm not either if if if, if it was dry we'd have a problem well and i and i and by the way i'd be sitting listening to dropping bombs i'll be like yeah like it's dry nobody wants dry how do i fix the dry and we're not talking about estrogen it. Estrogen. Estrogen is fixing the dryness. One of the questions I ask for women which, is... Which should fix the, the libido a little bit because... Testosterone. Lot, well, testosterone will fix the libido. It's more for the testosterone. But testosterone does more than libido for women. Testosterone is going to firm you up. It's going to tighten you up a little bit. You know that saggy, old-looking skin? That helps skin? libido for the men. Yes, but it also helps... Li <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it also helps it for, for the women. You know, that dry, saggy skin, that old-looking skin, See, that's estrogen and testosterone. But it fixes it. It fixes it. So hormones are important. They're absolutely important. And last but not least, my fifth thing to it, it, for, with regard to healthy aging is your spirituality, is I want you to do one good deed a day. The reason is this. Every time you perform a good deed, your immune system gets boosted by 40%. The person that you're doing the good deed towards, their immune system gets boosted by 40%. And every person that witnesses that good deed, their immune system gets boosted by 40%. These are studies that came out of Harvard University. Spirituality and Healing is the name of the conference. Dr. Herbert Benson is the one that runs that conference. An amazing conference every year. So my patients have to do one good deed a day. Minimum. Minimum. I have one more that I bet you would agree with. And you're about to do it. Drink some water. Hydrate. Absolutely. You want to prove, you want to. See? You want to. I'm adding to the doctor's conversation. You want to keep See? this whole. I contribute. People on, 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 my, on my feed sometimes are like, shut up, let him talk. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, this is my show. <laughs> and not only that, like, I'm trying to get my information. They're just allowed to listen. Right. So when people are telling me to shut up, it's like, no, 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 you shut the fuck up. I'm trying to ask them questions here. They're like, yeah, but he's, you won't let him finish. That's because I'm done with that. I, I, I want to exist now. Next. So, I love water. So for the viewers, again, I do apologize for interrupting if you were interested in a particular thing, but sometimes I get too excited. I jump to another another Nothing one with that. But water. You know, you talk about water with regard to this whole situation that's going on right now. Yeah. COVID. The mucous membranes... The mucous membranes, no matter where they are, mucous membranes here, mucous membranes in your mouth, if they are hydrated and they're slippery, the virus cannot implant. What's going to happen is it will feel like a bomb exploded and it will drop off. And it will slide and it down will to slide, the stomach acid. Exactly. 
If it is another dry, time you don't want to be dry. Yes. If you are dry, that that virus is going to 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 fix and that's where the replication begins. So mucous membranes and hydration, you're absolutely correct. Very important. Two dries, two negatives. You'll get COVID or divorced. Mm. We don't want to be dry. I'm telling people, hydrate. And then I talk to a lot of people about anti-aging stuff around in the world. And nine times out of ten, they always say, water like that's the number one because sometimes like right now i'm starting to see these bags i'm thinking well do i need to get those filled like this filler shit drink drink your water and those bags kind of go away and it's like oh shit you don't really need that yet right so folks if you ain't listening you better be listening now if you want some hormones you got to get a doctor's prescription so it isn't just go to fuelforclosures.com no that's that's not where it starts but where it does start like i always tell people you want to do steroids because you want to be a, a, a bodybuilder. I'd say, dude, build your body naturally until you can't go anymore and then look into that if that's your goal. That's what I say. Why? You're right on the money. Well, yeah, because, I mean, dude, you got you to gotta max <clears throat> out your own potential before you start, you know, enhancing it with, with let's say, steroids. With stuff. Yeah, yeah so if, like, if I was going to be a bodybuilder, I'm going to take steroids. Why? Well, they all do. They all do. Now, they say they don't, but they do. Right. Now- I'm going to get as big as I can get first because what if I can get like a monster and win all the contests and I totally don't need any, which is probably unlikely. That's what I suggest here. Go to fuelforclosers.com. Get on the super pack. That's the core four and the immune. Get the Kevlar for your cellular level. Get the the liquids. And by the way, let's go over each one real quick mm-hmm. because when, when we were first talking about it, it does more than just the little thing I said. Focus gives you focus. The awake gives you what else besides focus? The awake will give you will will really make your brain work better. So it's you know the brain fog that a lot of people have that brain fog. A lot of that is because the cells are just not firing; they're not communicating. So it's more than just you know the awake is just more than waking. It's 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 cellular brain function to get the cobwebs out to help you think and move on and focus and concentrate better. Would you go as far as to say rejuvenation, cellular brain rejuvenation? Well, you're going to have a level of rejuvenation, if you will, because here's why. The tank is empty, so you're refilling the tank. You can rejuvenate your engine by putting the right gasoline in, which is what we're doing. Yeah, but I was thinking like you can rejuvenate it because you start it. Right. So so like if I got a bunch of dead brain cells because I never use them and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm in a brain fog... But then I take this and it goes, and it, and it gets them going. Recharges. Yeah. It's a recharge. It's a recharge for the brain. Absolutely. It's that battery is just dead. You got to keep the trickle charger on if you're not going to drive the car. But once you drive it, it's going to start recharging the battery. So if someone's hearing, yeah, I'm in a little bit of a brain fog. I never can articulate what I'm thinking. It's affecting my job. It's, it's affecting my performance. Whatever. They need to get awake. Yes. What's function? Fuel function is cellular awakening. So it's energy, it's cellular body. energy, the whole body, everything within the body. It's things like panics, ginseng, vitamin B12, the, um, uh, green tea, all of those things are in there. Again, on the cellular level versus the brain fog for the nervous system. Are these products vegan? <clears throat> are they vegan? Yeah, gluten-free. They're vegan, gl- non-GMO, all the buzzwords. Yes, 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 because they're liquids. They're all botanicals. Uh, there's B12. There's cinnamon. Yes. So yes. nothing had a face on it. Nothing. No, no, we don't take anything with faces. We take the faces out. No, no we don't. But serious, because no, like, there, there, the, the, there's a big vegan movement growing, in my opinion. Yeah, there's a there's been growing. It's a huge it's but a, a huge movement. But all you got to do is slap vegan on it, and <clears> all the vegans start taking it. Why? Well, because it's vegan, and they got very little they can eat. <laughs> well, the nice thing, the nice, well, they, they can definitely have the Camus. Oh, it's funny. They can have the Camus, yeah. right? Because there's, there's very little things they can do, which is a good thing. Yeah. But the, the, the whole thing with all of, our, all of our immune bundle, all of the, even the capsules are, are um, vegan capsules. So they're not, they're not, uh, they're all vegan. They're vegetarian capsules. So folks, if you're not, paying attention you got to get the kevlar so you don't get the covid 
Now again, which is the which is the immune bundle? Well, it's not just the COVID you don't want. You don't want the flu. You don't want the fucking cold. You don't want shingles. You don't want the virus. You don't want the dude next door that was picking his nails and scratching <laughs> his butt. You don't want that. You don't want the norovirus. Norovirus. <laughs> For on the ships, is that what it's yes, called? Yeah, the norovirus. Yeah, the Norwalk virus. They call it, yeah. don't they? Uh, yes, that's where they shortened it to the norovirus. Yes. Yeah, it's where you shit all over yourselves, folks. And it's not nice. You don't want any of it. This will protect it at the cellular level. And it's scientifically proven, right? Correct. Camu, camu, or camu, camu, whatever you said. That's that's literally formulated with the thing that boosts your vitamin C rates through the roof. With Right. Because everybody's out trying to get vitamin C. You can't get it. Like it's lipotheric. I think it's lipo. Lipotropic. I know, but this vitamin C, this gel that I get, tastes like ass, but it's but it's like high strength vitamin c dude you couldn't find it i had to get it from like my most elite Mm -hmm. you know supplement people and they were they didn't want to get rid of it what about elderberry you ever heard of that elderberry is wonderful elderberry is has so many wonderful uh immune properties that it is wonderful actually i have elderberry in my briefcase i travel with it just in case anything anything right. happens. Right. I, I really like it. Now I see, really go, like it. Now see, where's the fuel for closers elderberry? <clears throat> well, here's the here's the thing. The problem with elderberry is this is because there was such a rush on it, like vitamin C, that it was very hard to get uh, good to get the, 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 the raw material. The other thing that's really, really good to help support the health of the immune system is zinc. Now, but here's the way I like zinc to be taken. The way I like zinc to be taken is a chewable because what happens is if you have something in the back of your throat, you know, you have a sore throat, whatever, remember that sore throat, the ears, the nose, and the throat are connected. They come out from what is called the same brachial cleft during embryonic development, meaning they develop from this area within the, as an embryo, and they form the ears, nose, and throat. That's why there's an ear, nose, and throat doctor, because it all forms from the same area. If you get a sore throat, you're going to get a problem with your nose, and you're going to have a problem with your ears, because they're all connected. The nice thing about having a chewable zinc is that once you chew that, and once you get that coated in your mouth, this is what I tell my patients to do, it's chew it, let it stay in your mouth a little bit, a lot of that is going to migrate into your nose, into your sinuses, well, not into your sinuses, but into this area of the nose, and it's going to help if you've got problems with your ears also because they're all connected. Should kids take zinc? They have zinc formulas for children, and it, they're usually liquids. Where do you go get this is chewable zinc? We have, Fuel for Closures has uh, chewable zinc. We have it, so it's See? part of, of what we have. I, yes. didn't get, I didn't get no chewable zinc. We'll get you some. See, Chewable zinc, folks. That's what you got to be taking on top of it. Yes, I really like that a lot. The so, do you have that with you? Do I have zinc? I have. Um, what I do is when I, I just I, find it interesting that you're traveling with elderberry. Yes, I have it in my briefcase. I know, but that's like you know, that's like you know, elderberry. Why wouldn't you be traveling with all this other shit? I am traveling with all of it too. But here's the thing with elderberry and some of the other supplements out there. You don't want to take something like elderberry every day. You don't need to take it every day. If you feel something coming on, that's when you should use it. Really? Yes. So it's potent. It is potent because here's the other thing that it does. But it's not a prophylactic. It can be used, but the the, the therapeutic dose, if you're getting sick, is let's say two to three times a day. If you want to use it as a preventative or prophylactically, as you, as you mentioned, you could do it every day, once a day, or every other day. You don't want to take things, for example, echinacea, right? Echinacea, uh, elderberry. When you take those things every day, you can also damage the normal flora in your body. So you'll be killing off the good bacteria that should be doing what they're doing. You don't want to take that stuff every day. You should take it when you start to get sick versus something like zinc. Zinc, on the other hand, is not only good to help support the health of your immune system, but it's phenomenal for for men with prostate issues. 
It is wonderful for the cardiovascular system. It is great for healing wounds. We have something in the hospital called zinc oxide. It's a topical that we rub on diabetics' wounds. It's zinc. So it's not only just for immune support. It's for wound healing. It's for other nutrients that are missing. That's the difference. The botanical versus a vitamin, mineral, or a nutrient. That's the difference between the two. You guys got zinc? Yes, yes, we have the zinc. Yeah, so it's chewable. So people just go to fuelforclosers.com, look at the health and wellness area, and you'll see what they have. But it's all, it's all highly formulated specifically to do shit, specifically for everybody. Right. And, you know, we have things like a prostate formula for men. We have. Is it all there? It's all there. It's, it's all there. there. Yet. It's all there. It's all there. We have, the, we have it in the warehouse. So we have prostate formulas. We have a, a healthy cholesterol formula. We have di sugar formulas. We have thyroid formulas. We have magnesium. Magnesium, the number one mineral deficiency in this country. Number one mineral deficiency. You get a little, have, again, I don't know if you've ever had this, but a lot of people get that little twitch in their eye, the, the bottom of their eyelid, and it's twitching and twitching. They go to the eye doctor. The eye doctor says, I don't know what's wrong with you. Your eyes are fine. Go to your primary care doctor says, I don't know what's wrong with you. You got a twitch. It'll go away. No, you got a magnesium deficiency. That progresses to now a twitch in your muscles, in your leg or in your arm. You get that twitching in your arm or twitching in your leg. That now progresses into a muscle cramp. You go to sleep at night, you move a toe, and all of a sudden your whole leg is cramping up. It then progresses into all of the things that happen within your cardiovascular system. I mean, this is... This is not something that happens in a week. This is something that happens over years. These are early warning signs that something is going on in your system that you've got to correct. Your eyelid doesn't twitch because it feel like, feels like it's twitching. It's twitching because there's a problem, and you have to figure out what that problem is. You can't start taking acid blockers because you're, 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 you, know, you, you feel like you're getting reflux. No. What you're doing is your food is being fermented and not digested. If you ferment something, you produce gas, and you're going to have that feeling. Well, put the fire out by put, eating the right food and taking a probiotic so that the food is now being digested instead of fermented. So these, I mean, th this is just common sense that people just don't pay attention to. Is there any adjustment time? Someone starts taking probiotic, do they <clears throat> do they have the shits for a week until it all regulates? That is a great question. That is a wonderful question. What happens is, is that when you take something like that, if you start to get loose stools, if you start to get more gas, if you start to get more belching or burping, what your body is doing is that it's killing off those organisms and you're going to get more symptoms. So what you do is you, you drink more water and you back off. So it's our, our probiotic is two a day, and I'd love to talk about that capsule technology and what makes it so unique, but it's two a day. If you start to get what you just said, loose stools, more gas, more belching, more burping, what you now do is back down to one a day. If it still continues, back down to one every other day because your body is cleansing, your body is cleaning. Until it cleans out, go ahead and back off a little bit and then go back to the regular dose once you're feeling better. Yeah, or, or Because you'd be wasting it if you didn't. Or you wouldn't take it, right? I mean, why would you continue taking something if it's going to make you feel worse? But you are cleaning and cleansing your system So, so the initial dose caused it to start purging the poisons. Purging the poisons, exactly. Very so, well so, said. So just back down the dose and just let it flow. Exactly. Let it take care of, let it get rid of the junk that's in your system, and it'll eventually go out. Well, dude, this will be the <clears throat> longest dropping bombs, and I still got more to talk about, which, oh. I, which again, I won't keep you, keep you here, but you can talk about that delivery system and the probiotics because I believe at the beginning of the conversation, the microbiome is, I think, I think we've gotten it wrong. I think the brain is not the number one. I think the gut is. I don't disagree with you, Brad. Yeah, and I, think, <laughs> I really don't. And I think if you can figure out how to get those microbiome as healthy and happy as possible, illness will go away because I think it's your stomach causing you to be ill because you're not giving it something you should be giving it. You're absolutely right. I, I absolutely agree with you. And I, and I think it changes. Like, in other words, what it wants today, you feed it, and then the next thing, this 
this it grows and then pretty soon because it's like a balanced ecosystem mm-hmm. so it's like well now that there's enough of this i better get some of this and if you don't get some of that well now even though you were doing the right thing well now you just you're you're it's out of whack again why because it's a balance it's a ongoing thing broccoli might not be good for you just because it's good for people it might your microbiome might say dude i I got enough damn broccoli i'm I'm lacking this so if you just keep eating broccoli it actually is not good for you based on your microbiome i agree i agree and it also is based on your genetics so i totally agree with you i think our gut controls so much about of what goes on with us emotionally uh, physically that uh, I, I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. The delivery system on our probiotic is very unique. Many, many years ago, I developed a delivery system called microencapsulation, where I took all of the organisms and I encapsulated them and then put them into a regular capsule. That was, that was 25 years ago. The new technology is, and this is not my technology, the new technology is, is that the capsule that we put the organisms in is what is called an acid-stable or an acid-resistant capsule, so that when that capsule hits your stomach, the the capsule doesn't open. The capsule moves into the intestine, and the bacteria now get released where the pH is right for those organisms to survive. I don't need to have 20 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion organisms, because the viability of our probiotic is significantly higher than the most, if not all, of the probiotics that are out in the market today because of the technology. So I don't need 20 billion, 30 billion organisms. I only need 4 billion organisms because out of those 4 billion, the majority of them live. The other thing is people put different species. We've got, um, you know, 12 different species of bacteria. Okay, so... Your body can't tolerate all of those organisms and that high number at one time. You talk about the cleansing, man, they're going to be cleansing like you have no idea. So what I want to do is I want to introduce three different organisms, lactobacillus acidophilus, lactobacillus rhamnosus, and what is called bifidobacter bacterium. These organisms live in specific areas of the intestine, and they do what they're supposed to do based on the research and the technology, and they have the broadest application for the body in, in, for the entire body in general. So if someone had to pick not the super pack, which comes with all of what we talked about, yes, if they, if they only got to choose one, the immune or the core four, what, would they, what should they pick for their best health? I think it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to achieve building a business and you're going to be working from home and doing what you're doing, I would say the core four. If you're somebody who is out in the world and you're concerned about what's going on in the world today, I would say the immune bundle. The reason I like the immune bundle is is my favorite is because there's such broad application, right? The application is very broad. That being said, there's very broad application with the core four also. So what I would tell people to do is bite the bullet because your health is the most valuable asset that you have. We compromise on everything else. We compromise on everything else that we do. We can't compromise when it comes to our health because that's all you got. Yeah, and soon as soon as you do, you'll be willing to give up whatever you got because for the compromise to get it back. Correct. Well, folks, if you don't think Bradley brings you value, well, then unsubscribe, kids. But if you do think I bring you value, share this out because there could be someone sitting right now with some sort of acidophilus deficiency, laxoacidophilus deficiency. There could be someone depressed. Again, I mean – your gut could cause you to be depressed, nervous, anxious, which then causes other problems. Share this with people. Don't be greedy. Everybody should go to fuelforclosers.com if you're interested in Dr. Derek De Silva's fabulous new products. And by the way, they're not new, new, but they're somewhat new. Yes. Freshly, freshly, and, and all the newest technology. Where else do they find you on social media? Do you, do you Instagram or anything? We are developing that. You know, one of the things I've been doing is I'm very busy in my practice. So Instagram and all of that stuff. I'm on Facebook, Dr. Derek De Silva on Facebook. Instagram, we're starting to develop right now. And so just go to at fuel for closures. At fuel for closure. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if, but will it be you answering? What if it's James or something? (laughs) 
or James some, is pretty smart. Yeah, but what if somebody what if somebody freaking hired a ten dollar an hour fool just to answer questions? It's not and they, happening. And they think it's Doctor Derek Silva. It's not Silva. happening. It's not happening. You sure? I'm positive because I ma- I made that very clear to, to the group today. Stuff is going through. I need to know about it. There you have it, folks. Doctor, appreciate you coming out. Thank appreciate you, you giving much. us the time. And the Bomb Squad thanks you for Thank the you good very information. Much. Till next time, kids, keep it real. Mm-hmm.